for both teams. Not the best, but definitely up there. We have Fee Fossi Oi really ripping it up for Pirate City. Sarah Gardner also putting some massive points on the board for Brisbane. Fia Fossi Oi has a bit of an advantage here, but and there's a no pack situation called at the front with BCR. And Fia Fossi Oi is your lead jammer. The first one of the second half. And Sarah Gardner is free from the pack, but about a third of a lap behind Fia Fossi Oi, who is now approaching the rear of the pack for a first scoring pass. And it looks like Napoleon Vagina Might is in the bin for Pirate City giving BCR that small advantage. We've been saying it all weekend. People in the bin does not equal points. And Fia Fasioi calls the jam, and it looks like two points to the Pirate City Rollers. Better than doing nothing, but some good defense there at the front of the pack by Brisbane. Just locking down Fia Fasioi and robbing her of the chance of scoring that extra two. And 19 points a difference. 19 points, as everyone knows in roller derby, is nothing. I've seen uh, a couple of 30 point power jams, I've nearly seen a 40 point power jam. So uh, let's see what we have here. We've got Penergy stepping up to jam for Brisbane and uh, skate the mess for uh, Pirate City. Pirate City with one blocker in the bin, so a minor advantage in the pack. Oh, Penergy just skips around the outside, almost unopposed. Yeah, and she's good at doing that. Like you've been saying, Malajasted, Penergy and her lateral dancing, straight up and down that track, unopposed. It's what she does best. And she's at the back of the pack now for a first scoring pass. Nicely hit there by Terra Satana, just putting Penergy one foot on the outside, uh, and Penergy does call, does call the jam before she gets the penalty for a cutting. So well done there to Penergy, but even uh, greater done by Terra Satana. Good defensive work. Now, just for those who don't know, even if you have one foot outside of the track, you are counting as being off the track. Uh, that's right, maladjusted, and you do not want to send your jammer to the bin, especially if you are BCR, because we were just talking about 30-point jams, power jams, and uh, that's all Pirate City need. One good jam. Got Lady Trample there for Pirate City. Lady Trample. Having a hard time there with Miss Striker and uh, a few other of the BCR girls. And it looks like it looks like BCR's gonna go for the inside track. She's taken out well there by Pirate City, and Lady Trample does get through your lead jammer, number 54. Two blockers in the bin, one apiece, one Pirate City, one a BCR. And with Lady Trample approaching the rear of the pack for her first scoring pass, which she does effortlessly, gliding on through for a third point pass, clearing it off, smashing grab. A big condolences there to Lady Trample, really showing the Pirate City girls that they are still in this game. Uh, and there's your four easy points, bringing the score to 65 Pirate City, 82 to the Brisbane City Rollers. Okay, we've got Terra Satana stepping up to jam for Pirate City. Looks like one blocker apiece in the penalty box. Sarah Gardner jamming for Brisbane. Nicely blocked there by Skate the Must using uh, that good wall of hers to stop uh, Sarah Gardner and Terra Satana. The terror of the Pirate City Rollers is the lead jammer, and she's looking to score some points. A full lap ahead of Sarah Gardner. And Terra Satana with three, four points for the Pirate City Her Rollers. Well done again. I think uh, Lady Trample might have set the example on the last uh, last jam there, maladjusted. That's a little four points. That changes the scores a bit. That's Pirate City now in 69, rapidly closing on Brisbane's 82. Yeah, I've uh, heard plenty of people say sport is all about momentum, and it looks like the Pirate City Rollers have just started to roll down the hill now, uh, really starting to put some points on the board. And uh, eight in the last two jams, they keep doing that, and they're going to catch this 82-point score by the Brisbane City Rollers. OK, let's well, get the most jamming for Pirate City. Equal number of blockers on the track. Iron Thighs, the, one of my favourite utilities of all the Derby girls in Australia, is jamming for BCR. Skate the Must with two opponents to beat, now three. Nicely taken there by Florence Nightingale. 
And is she through? No, not quite. She's taken out the inside there by Florence. Well done. And Iron Thighs is through the pack, but she has may uh, she has minored, and it looks like she will not be a lead jammer. Oh. But it doesn't matter. As Skate the Must takes a seat in the sin bin and is a power jam. BCR favor. BCR's blockers have gone and shut it down. And, and this is a tied yeah, turn for the worst as Iron Dice takes a seat in the sin bin. Skate the must with a big smile on her face as it's now a Pirate City power jam. One heavy back block sent it to the bin. Skate the must back on the track. Nicely going through the pack. Very nicely done there by Skate the Moss. I think yeah, the Pirate City girls have got that momentum going now. It looked like that power jam was going to crumble them, but uh, lucky break there as Iron Thighs goes to the bin. Skate the trying to push her way through that last line of defense. She ducks down, takes the outside line, and does it. Five points to Pirate City. Well done there. Uh, you can see Iron Thighs now made her lap, and she has four points for the Brisbane City Rollers. Anyone's game here. You can see Skate the Must looking for those last minute points. Oh, and she's called the jam on the outside. Well done to Skate the Must. But she's not Lee Jammer. She cannot do it. Of course. How dare I say such a thing? There is no Lee Jammer. Both girls have gone to the bin, so there will be no Lee Jammer. So uh, Skate the Must will accumulate one minor for that, uh, that attempt. And there's the two minutes oh. the to its uh, gradual conclusion. And it looks like Pirate City might have put a few extra points here on that last lap. All right. And we have a score of 78 to 90. 12, 12 points of difference, 11 points of difference, 79 to 90. Pirate City calling back. We have an official timeout. Now a quick look at the uh, penalty box. We've got nobody there, so it's going to be fairly even on the track. Fair Fussy Oil already on the uh, jammer line, but no, returning to a bench. Yeah, I think they're going to have a little bit of a, a, a discussion here. 23 minutes left on the clock of this second half of BCR versus PCR. That's the Brisbane City on 90 points. Pirate City on 79 points, 11 points of difference. Now we have Penergy standing there waiting to go for uh, BCR and uh, Fifasi Oil back up there on the line for PCR. Both these girls really showing uh, how Derby, really showing how Derby is played. Okay, Fifasi Oil trying to go through. A little bit of jammer on jammer action there. Yeah, nothing quite like a bit of jammer on Jackson. Penergy taken out there by, it looks like, uh, Calamity Jane. Oh, and oh, Fassi is oh, through. through yeah, BCR Fassi, oi, what a player. Really, really what a player. Two uh, blockers in the bin. Fia Fassi, oi, taken nicely on the outside there. And that's a jam called. Penergy looking for points. Penergy got some. Yeah, I believe it's going to be four points apiece to BCR and PCR. So well done there to Penergy and Fia Fee, Fee, Fuzzy Oi. Woo! Very good recovery by Penergy in that one. She was uh, trailing by half a lap. Made up that time as uh, her blockers uh, held up Fia Fuzzy Oi for a moment inside the pack and got that quick four points. Great skating. Very good work by Penergy. Good to see that uh, Pirate City are putting Tara Satana back on as their jammer. She's shown uh, she's shown BCR that she's a force to be reckoned with, and uh, it'll be so interesting to see how this comes out. Over in the corner at half time, I found okay, what do you think? Check the scoreboard. Looks like uh, BCR may have picked up some extra points in that last jam. That's uh, BCR 94, PCR 79. Great to have fans, even our 15 even points in it. Fans. Give us a wave. Or not. I don't know about you, maladjusted, but I've had a wonderful weekend down here at the Great Southern Slam. Uh, I've learned a lot, and I'm sure every other MC down here has had a great time and learned a lot. But how do you feel? Look, it's been an, an amazing experience just as an announcer. I mean, sure, as well. we get to watch some fantastic derby bouts from the best seats in the smooth, house smooth but we get to work with people who do what we do from all around the country 
So it's an opportunity for us to feel the styles of other commentators out there and improve the way that we can deliver the game to you. Because the game's not about us, it's about the players. And if we can highlight that for you, make it clearer for you, make it more exciting for you, that's what we're here for. Truer words have not been spoken by any other MC. I should record that and just play it at every bout that I commentate for. It's wonderful stuff. Unfortunately, I can't quite get a voice like yours. Oh, it's not that great. It does have its disadvantages. Okay, Terra Satana back on the track, trying a quick tap on there, but it didn't work. Speed Angel on the outside, but nicely taken there by Skate Demus, cancelling Speed Angel's uh, acceleration on the outside, and this is still a PCR bam, but no Speed Angel does come on the inside there on the third corner, and nicely taken. Not to say that Terra Satana isn't out of this bout, as she's literally about five metres behind, and it looks like she's catching. All it needs is a bit of deceleration at the back of the pack. Speed Angel trying to go through, tapping as she goes. She calls Couple up. of quick points there yeah, for Brisbane. I think it's going to be, I believe it's going to be two points for Brisbane and potentially zero points for the Pirate City Rollers. So uh, it's those kind of jams. They might seem small, but it's definitely those type of jams that will win you a game over Roller Derby. Well, that was a... Uh, 15 point difference that uh, just became a 17 point difference. Got a little bit of a crowded venture at the moment with Pirate City with two blockers in the bin. BCR also with one blocker in the bin. Iron thighs on the outside, too easy. She maximizing the She just skated 10 meters in about half a second on that outside and totally confused the Pirate City rollers and, and including Fia Fussy Oi. And uh, here comes Iron Thighs for her second lap, looking for points. Oh, nearly taken there. Beautifully done. Nearly taken there by a Lady Trample, but Iron Thighs, the utility of of one of the best utilities, uh, dodges that nicely and scores a quick four points for the Brisbane City Rollers, breaking the Hunter with 100 points. And in some definition of the drinking games, uh, someone hits 100, you take a drink. Not that I encourage irresponsible drinking in any way, shape, or form. It looks like uh, Fia Fussy Oi is a crowd favourite, not only here, but also in the uh, DNN text feed. And I can't, uh, I can't disagree more. She's, uh, sorry, agree more. She's a wonderful player, definitely one of my personal favourites of the whole weekend. Uh, I do have a soft spot for Pirate City Rollers. Uh, it was wonderful for NBR to play them twice, and uh, I've managed to commentate every, or at least three of the games that they've played. So it's been a privilege, and I, I love watching Fia Fasioi play the game. Look, it was, a, it, was a, it was an amazing story at the last Great Southern Slam when they came across. They were a virtual unknown, and what, they finished fourth? Yeah, correct. They were just pipped by Adelaide by, I believe, about four points in third and fourth, and they did come fourth, and yeah. For, uh, for a league that's over in New Zealand that has no footage of any of their bouts, has no footage of any of their training, no one knew what to expect, and then you get these strong, powerful women over the, over the ocean that came in in 2010 and just dominated teams with that brute strength and that fast pack. So it, it's always a privilege to watch Pirate City work, and now we have Auckland o also from over the, over the water, so it's two teams to watch. Great players all. Okay, we've got Lady Trample up on the jammer line for Pirate City. Up against the uh, the now famous Panergy. Uh, she's got a lot of family members watching on DNN, so a big thank you to DNN for giving her family the opportunity to watch. Uh, number 54 versus number 54, Lady Trample versus Panergy. Panergy with that lateral moving. She's uh, one side to the other, and then she's on the outside, and she does just steal that lead jammer from Lady Trample. Well done to Panergy from the Brisbane City Rollers. Lady Trample trying to shut her down un unsuccessfully. Quick tap. Bit of jam oh, on generation. No. Sure uh, good move by Lady Trample, just taking that lead there and forcing the call off. Yeah, well done indeed, maladjusted. Lady Trample's proved to be that one jammer you don't want on your tail, and especially on a situation that Penergy just had. She knew she had to call it. You can't risk giving uh, Lady Trample the opportunity to score points, especially when there's only 21 points of difference, with still 19 minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. Absolutely anybody's game. Okay, we've got Fia Fassi Ori stepping up to jam for Pirate City. 
Sarah Gardner has been playing wonderful for Brisbane City Rollers. She's trying to take the inside step, and she has the lead jam. Gets through, yeah, Bosnia is still trying to get through that last line of defense from Brisbane. Nice little sandwich there at the front of the pack. It's almost out of play, but they're bridging well. BCR with a beautiful bridge as Sarah Gardner comes in for her second lap. This is a fast pack. This pack has really got some pace on it. Absolutely, the great defensive work there by Brisbane. Caused that half a lap gap between the two jammers. Bia Fasioi catching up a little bit there as she's made her way through that initial pass. And here comes Sarah Gardner looking for points for BCR. Nice little bump there by Terra Satana on Vixen. And Sarah Gardner calls the gem and scores some points for the Brisbane City Rollers. Two points for the Brisbane City Rollers. Add that to the previous two, that's four. The lead is stretching out. So we've had no explosive jams, but we've gone from a, uh, was a 14 point yeah, lead, stretched out now to a uh, 23 point lead, awesome. Brisbane in command. Yeah, that's it. Brisbane are really in command in this second half. I haven't, I've seen a few jams where Pirate City have got that momentum. They put four points and I think I put four points again by Fia Fussy Oi and Lady Trample. But uh, it looks like Brisbane's got over that little hump and they're back in control of this jam and their defense and their offense look to be working really well as they increase this lead. Well, the Brisbane Jammers seem to be finding that outside line quite nicely. Oh, Gate the Moss has taken Lee Jammer status, slipping through quickly. Yeah, Iron Thighs on her heel, so quarter lap in front. And it looks like Skate the Must isn't going to risk it and calls the jam early. Well, well done there to both uh, Skate the Must and Iron Thighs. They know each other's potential and they do not want to take risks. Not with 17 minutes still on the clock and with such a tight score, risks are just not worth it. Absolutely. We've got Penergy back for Brisbane up against Fia Fassi Oi, a matchup that we're quite familiar with. But there's no one in the penalty box, so there's a full complement on the track. Brisbane are going for the knee start to get the... Uh, about the uh, jam underway quickly. The battle of the smallest jam as we have Fia Fasioi and Penergy. Both these ladies have scored oh, big. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, little bit of jam on jam action, but an absolute back block. Straight yeah. into Penergy's back. Fia Fasioi has to have had a brain burp then. That was outright illegal. Yeah, she's going to pay for that too, giving uh, BCR the opportunity of a power jam to score big points. And if anyone can score 10, 15 points, it's going to be Penergy. Uh, she's she quite wonderful. Here she comes. Can she just slip on through? <laughs> Held up by her own player. Nice. There's that lateral moving again. Unfortunately, she also just had a little bit of a brain burp, and she's she's twisted up, hit her own player, and now, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Penergy is going to the bin, which means Fia Fasioi now has her own power jam. How the tides turn so quickly in roller derby. Fia Fasioi, this is your get out of jail free. Now, the Fia Fasioi was only in the bin for about 20, 30 seconds, so Penergy is out. A beautiful turn and roll out of that attempted block. And look at on the pace. Look at the smile on her face. She knows how good that was. She, she has got some serious ballerina moves. This girl is a dynamo. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Getting a bit rugby on the thing. Oh, she's out. Yeah, Penergy back on track for the Brisbane City Rollers. Fia Fasioi still having a hard time in the back of the back. Now there is no jammer. Sorry, no lead jammer. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how these two minutes go. We have 20 seconds left of this jam with no lead jammer. Fia Fasioi makes her way through the pack. But Penergy is just coming for yet another scoring pass. Very, very quick and easy for Penergy. Penergy is catching Fia Fasioi, who seems to be just coasting. Clean too. Penergy's a very clean skater. She can move side to side and she can give the bumps like anyone, but her style of skating is just too clean. And you can see by the points that she's racking up. And again, Fia Fasioi, when that whistle goes, she turns around, she sticks her butt out in the direction she was traveling, getting the line of her hips just in front of the opposing blockers. It's the line of the hips that the uh, definition of passing is made from and might be able to pick up an extra point. Yeah, Skate the Muss up against Sarah Gardner for the Brisbane City Rollers. Skate the Muss has been playing jammer and blocker nearly every jam this game and every other, ja uh, every other game before this. It's tremendous athleticism. Only two blockers from Brisbane on the track. Skate the Muss is through. 
out now. Yeah, she took a big hit there. I'm not sure it was. It she looked like uh, Big Mac, but it she could have been Calamity Jane. I believe it was Calamity Jane with a monster hit there on Sarah Gardner. Uh, I did see her head hit the cement, so uh, it's oh, good to see her back oh, on her feet. But Skate the Moss is through a five-point pass there. Skate the she picks up five points. Yeah, the old tap of the helmet. Nothing quite like five points. It's just that little extra screw in the coffin. Sarah Gardner has uh, Penny swapped. I think she, no, no, like she's dropped her star. That's Sarah it. Gardner I thought it was a star pass. Yeah, unlucky uh, there, but BCR, as uh, she's been, she uh, un unluckily lost her penny, which means PCR are going to add a few extra points there, bringing this gap down to 18, 18 points. We've got uh, just over 13 minutes remaining, 18 points in it. We have one blocker from Pirate City sitting in the penalty box and uh, being joined by a couple from Brisbane. Yeah, I just, got a, I just got a message here by Neon Genesis. She's saying that the hit it and quit it style is what's going to win it in this particular bout, and I couldn't agree more. But in a lot of bouts, it's the hit it and quit it strategy. It's 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 the uh, the spine of roller derby. You want those quick four points, and, and it's that's how you win games. Okay, quickly Brisbane gets another two blockers back on the track, so it's three on three. Sarah Gardner. Both of these jammers have been playing tremendously. They've taken big hits each, oh, right. but it looks like it looks like Freya Fasioli is going to be your lead jammer with another little bit of a ballerina twist there. She's a wonderful uh, agility skater. Some big hits. The pack has been uh, brought to a standstill as uh, Fassi comes around. On the time. outside. Oh, dodge underneath a block Great there. Slam. Beautiful Bad stuff head. there by Fassi. Yeah, wonderful uh, outside manoeuvring there by Fia Fassi Oi, scoring a grand slam against the Brisbane City Rollers and just slowly closing that gap. Weaving through, trying to get past, right having to yeah, follow yeah. her way through that last yeah, line of defense there. Five point pass oh, by Fear Fassi Oi for Pirate City. This is what they need. Yeah, and uh, you can see the bench manager from Pirate City, who I believe is oh, an Adelaide no. rep, telling them to keep another, going. Another pirouette to get through. This is beautiful. Five more points for Pirate City. Yeah, the, the, the score is getting close. The defense by Pirate City is tremendous. Really shutting down Speed Angel. And Fia Fussy always looking for another four points. Will this pass do it? Can Fassi get through? If she can make this full pass, she, she will get the lead for Pirate City. That's possibly it. We might have a lead change. And... And Pirate City, Pirate City gets one, sorry, two points there. And Ooh, Brisbane yeah, City Rollers oh. just in front, just in front, 110 to Pirate City, 109 to the, uh, Bris sorry, 110 to Pirate City, 109 to the Brisbane City Rollers. What a game this has turned out to be. One point separating, 11 minutes to play. Penergy jamming for Brisbane. Up against Skate the Must for Pirate City. Who ducks around the outside, takes Lee Jammer's status. Pirate City are in control of this one. Yeah, well done here by Skate the Must. She's looking to the crowd for cheers. And she's telling her, uh, she's telling her pack to speed it up because she knows she can outskate Penergy. And Skate the Must calls the jam. That's what we need. We now have a 110 to 110. If you like to drink, you have a drink. That's, we are all tied up. Sarah Gardner out there on the line for Brisbane City Rollers. Skate the Must stepping up to jam for Pirate City up against Sarah Gardner. No one in the penalty box. A full complement of blockers on the track. An even score and 10 minutes to play. Everybody wants it to start quick. The uh, lead jammer of this yeah, jam down. is going to take their Bruce team the potentially yeah, into the lead. Oh, Sarah Gardner's right done it. Right. She's broken yeah. free. Beautiful work. Well done there by Brisbane City. Great defense there at the front of the pack. Good bridging. And uh, it looks like they're now out of play. Skate the must a half lap behind Sarah Gardner. Sarah Gardner approaching the rear of the pack, busting through that wall of defense. Just what she needed to do. She's gone down. 
Going off the jam. Four Pulled points for, for Brisbane City Rollers. Well done, they take the lead again, 114 to 110. This is anyone's game. I love this roller derby. This is what I live for. And again, we have Penergy stepping up for Brisbane, up against Fierfassi Oi for Pirate City. No one on the bench, full complement on the track. And that's one big wall of blockers for Pirate City. Yeah, menacing. We've got Calamity Jane, Terra Satana, Big Mac. Some of the best hits I've seen all weekend have come from those three girls. And do we have it? We do. Fifth is lead. Jammer Pirate City is in control of this one. Yeah. Energy let's yet to get through the pack. Energy nice block there by Calamity Jane. And Pia Fassi Oi is looking for those four points. She's looking for that hit it and quit it. And they're going to bring this back up to 114. She's having a hard time there with the last BCR blocker. She's failed to call it on time, I think. I think Penergy might have stole some points. She did. Like she did. One point for Brisbane City, four for PCR. That means Brisbane City stay in the lead by one tiny itty bitty point. Eight minutes remaining on the clock. Brisbane have one blocker in the bin. Sarah Gardner jamming for Brisbane. Skate the must, getting ready to jam for Pirate City. Again, skate the must. Oh, nice little bit of jammer on jammer action off the line there. Sarah Gardner skate the must. Both been dominant players in the last, se oh, sorry, in the second half of this game. Oh. Skate the must goes down oh. as does Sarah Gardner. What a combo, Big Mac, Terra Satana, and Skate the Must has a minor on the out, and Sarah Gardner is the lead jammer. And standing in the shadow of Skate the Must, Skate the Must must now put on some speed. Lock down Sarah Gardner. Yeah, Skate the Must looking for points. Sarah Gardner not, not going to play that game. Calls it off. Well done there to Brisbane City Rollers for uh, causing Skate the Must to get that minor. That could have been an upset. They could have taken the lead. But no, we continue with 115 to Brisbane City Rollers and a 114 to the Pirate City Rollers. Okay, we now have Fang Fien stepping up to a uh, jam Fang for Fien, Brisbane and Fia Fasioi again for Pirate City. I cannot describe this girl enough. Fia Fasioi, back to back jams, triple back jams, quadruple back jams. This girl is a friggin' dynamo. Both jammers go down, very messy. Brisbane only with two blockers on the track. Oh. Fia Fasioi makes her way up front, taking lead jammer status. Power City are in control. Yes, yeah, still uh, one more BCR blocker in the bin. This is a big advantage for Pirate City. They want these points. They're going to try to, try to lap. Try to lap, has Fasi Slam. Slam. I believe she's going to pick up that point for the passing the opposing jammer. And there it is, a grand oh, slam. Five points there. Tara Satana putting on the hurt. Five points and, and PCR takes the lead, 119 to 115. Great job fighting their way through there. Fasioi back in the pack again, trying to get another scoring pass. And well done there to uh, Fia Fossi Oi, dominating that last jam and lead successfully finish. putting Pirate City one in the lead. Pirate, Pirate City 121, lead Pirate Brisbane City 115. We have just over five minutes left on the clock and this has to be one of the most nail-biting bats I've seen today. I am well and truly clenched. Okay, a quick look at the bench now. We have one blocker from each team out of play here. We do have a Brisbane City timeout. It's just got a little bit quiet. How are you doing out there? What, what a game this has been, really, to see... Uh, Brisbane City dominating the offensive oh. in the first half. They've started to dominate the defensive yeah. in the second half. But Pirate City, I don't know what tactics they're talking about, but it seems to be working. They're really trying to focus on that hit it and quit it. And finally, 15, sorry, 25 minutes into the second half, it's starting to pay off. And now they're six points ahead. Oh, the oh, we've got sk skate the must time and time again. 
coming up against the back of the pack, Getting forcing her way through that first line of defence, then swinging out wide, oh, that I didn't know drawing was. the defenders out and then cutting back in, and that's the way she's getting through, often having to drive one or two players out seconds. the front and uh, out of the uh, engagement so zone to do so, but it's working for her. Yeah, definitely something that I'm sure you've noticed at home, ladies and gentlemen. Pirate City Jammers, you're going to need two girls to block them. It's their advantage. It's the it's one thing that Pirate City have over everyone else. It takes two girls to block a Pirate City Jammer, and I think Pirate City have just finally realised that they have that advantage, and they're trying to use it. Okay, it's 121 to 15. Pirate City in the lead. The crowd goes well. Skate the must jamming for Pirate City. Skate the must on the outside. Nicely bumps Penergy uh, into the, her own oh, players. And it looks like Sarah Gardner has dominated Skate the must on the inside of that track. Really putting the hurt on. Again with iron thighs. Sarah Gardner. Penergy breaks through, gets lead jammer status and calls it off there. Yeah, not sure where the tactics are on that one. Uh, Skate the Must was at the back of the pack. Uh, it looked like Sarah Gardner yeah, and uh, yeah. Iron Thighs had her pretty dominated. So I'm not quite sure why Penergy's called that jam off. She had a good head start. She's got the speed to get a lap ahead. So uh, it'll be interesting to ask her after this, chair, after this game exactly what was going through her head. What was going through her head? Quite possibly the hips and shoulders yeah, of some yeah. of the blockers. Yeah, probably Terra Satana is just revolving around her head and just, uh, uh, it would, if I was out there, it's, I'd be uh, crapping bricks, to be real honest with you. Okay, uh, we've got uh, Fang Fien jamming for Brisbane up against, I think it's Fia Fasioi. It is Fia Fasioi against Fang Fien from Brisbane City Rollers. Fia Fasioi dominating the outside of the pack. Jumps in on Iron Thighs. Looks like they're out of play. And Fasioi is the lead jammer. Well done uh, once again to Fia Fasioi. Really showing the Pirate City girls how it's done and boosting that, that momentum. Oh, oh, Fang Unfortunate. Fang Fien so takes close. herself out on the We're second, sorry, third, third corner. And, and Fia Fasioi. Sarah Gardner takes her on the outside, but Fia Fasioi with a full lap ahead of uh, Fang Fien. Fia Fasioi having a hard time with Sarah Gardner again. Sarah Gardner, what a dominant Fier player. Fasioi. Great well, jamming, yes. great defending. Fia Fasioi calls the jam. And it looks like she's going to sell herself two points. Maybe three. This range I can't quite see. Yeah, I might need to borrow your, jar, your glasses there, maladjusted. So, yes, it looks like it was two points. One point, sorry. Uh, 124 Pirate City to 115 for the Brisbane City Rollers. Nine points of difference. Three, three minutes, minutes left. Play. Okay, Penergy back on to jam for Brisbane. Skate the mustard jam for Pirate City. Uh, a little bit of information just to let you know, Mal adjusted. I believe Pirate City are only playing with about 11 players. So they are three players short of a full complement team. So that's why you're seeing these girls back to back to back, which is amazing in itself. Both uh, crash into the defensive oh. walls of the back of the pack. It's become a bit of a push and a scrum. Yeah, a little bit of a scrum here. Looks oh, like Penergy's yeah, got the gap. And uh, she's through. Lady Tramble oh, just yeah, couldn't yeah. get on her. And uh, Fia Fasioi with little decoy. And Lucas at the front by BCR. Great defending there. Fia Fa uh, sorry. Skate the must is through. But Penergy looking for points. Looking to close that gap. Nice, uh, nice little bump there by Lady Trample. Oh, just waltzes through. She calls it. She calls it. That's going to be uh, four points up. Which is going to bring this down to five okay, points. The difference, one grand slam away from a tie, with only two minutes left on the clock. This might be the last jam. This could be the decider. But Sarah Gardner jamming for Brisbane. Yeah, I thought it was. We've got Skate the Muss jamming for Pirate City. Pirate City have one blocker in the bin, so there's a minor advantage in the pack to Brisbane. This could be the opportunity that Brisbane City is looking for. Just over a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. Skate the Muss quick off the line. Sarah Gardner on her heels. Sarah Gardner going for the outside. Skate the Muss for the inside. Sarah Gardner taken out really nicely there by Fia Fasioi. And Fia Fussy brings her right back to the back of the pack. 
Sky Damas is so easy. Sky Damas is your lead. Sky Damas is in control. Yes, sir, Gardner, though, not far behind. 10, 20 feet behind. It's nothing. And uh, Bia. The ref is down. The ref is down. Jamming pulled off. And I, I believe Pirate City got the advantage on that one. It looks like we have 44 seconds left on the clock. Definitely one, definitely one more jam left in this one. A score of 126 to 119. Seven points the difference. 35, 30 seconds left on the clock. Looks like we'll have just one more jam. If Brisbane City Rollers get this and they get Panergy through and they put that blocking on, they could easily yeah, take this yeah, home a victory. And, and looks like Brennan is busting through out in front. Can looks she make like it? Is she away? Is she away? Very nicely done by Skate the Must. Jammer on jammer action. Big Mac comes in and obliterates Panergy. And she calls a timeout. Oh, one second. I believe they've called a timeout with one, one second. second left on the clock. We're gonna see what happens. I believe there was one second left on the clock. Penergy's asked her bench XL to call the timeout. We're gonna have one more. This is up to the officials. One second left on the clock when the timeout was called. So that's gonna be one more. We have ourselves a real game of roller derby. This is a seven point game. This is amazing. Seven yeah. points, and one jam left. Three blockers on the track for each team. Sarah Gardner jamming for Brisbane. Skate the Mus jamming for Pirate City. This crowd is going ecstatic. This could go either way. Skate the Mus gets lead jammer. She's going to call it. Sarah Gardner, she gets lead jammer. She is going to bolt around that track like her goddamn panties are on fire. I can't wait to see what happens in this next one. Oh, Sarah Gardner, false start there. Don't right, know. Guys. Both trying to wrestle right, their way right. through. Right. Sarah Gardner gets on the outside line. This could be it. Sarah Gardner is lead jammer. Oh, oh, oh cutting! What a game of roller derby! Skate the oh, oh. Skate the Mus in the bin. Sarah Gardner has it's herself true. a power jam. She's this could be it. Pirate City look like they're about to lose oh, in the last negative seconds of the game. Sarah Gardner still trying to oh, find a way through. Head. Has she got the points head. under her belt? She's got the five. Right, or is she going to keep on going? She's going to drive this home. We have 129 to 126. Sorry. Sarah Gardner needs to call it. And there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Brisbane City Rollers take the lead. And they have won. They have won by three points for the power jam in the final seconds. How do you feel, Mal Justin? How do you feel? Oh, my God. I think I'm about to pee myself if I haven't already. Just cast your mind back. One second. One second on the clock. Timeout call. Extra jam. And the score's reverse. That is exactly right, maladjusted. All because Penergy, she was smart. She's called the jam. She's gone straight to a bench. Call. Timeout. 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 It's been called. One second left. We get one more jam. Brisbane City gets the power jam. They come home, the victors. Well done to Brisbane City Rollers. And well done to Pirate City. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the closest bout I've watched. This has been a phenomenal bout. Oh, yep. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Johnny Pistol. It's been an absolute pleasure. I have Matt adjusted with me. I'm sure he's got some closing words to say. Uh, we're going to go hit the slammer, and I hope you stick around and watch some more of this fantastic, great Southern Slam. This is what Derby's all about. I'm just absolutely bored out now. This is just, just 
just been amazing. Luke, thank you very much for sharing the experience with us. We've had a great time tonight, and thank you, DNN, for being able to bring this to the world. I'm Mel Adjusted. Thank you, and good night.